Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us for our Friday weather update for January the 20th. And while there is a lot of low pressure, especially to the north of New Zealand, it is high pressure that is about to dominate our weather and the weather for a big chunk of Australia. Let's take a look and see what is happening on the animated wind map today. This shows low pressure in the darker shading and high pressure in the brighter shading. This high pressure zone south of Aussie, this is the main feature that is about to move into the New Zealand area. It brings with it a couple of fairly weak cold fronts but enough to drive in just a little bit of wet weather uh, down here in the south. It also does another thing, it blocks these tropical low pressure systems from coming down our way. This is what was Cyclone Irene. It got downgraded this morning, Friday morning, and you can see why it sort of lost its shape. And as that high pressure system comes in, it inserts all this dry air on the western side of it. So Irene is falling apart and is not posing a direct threat to New Zealand, although just be aware, it might help churn up the beaches a little bit further. And the third thing that this high pressure zone down here is about to do is drive in maybe about a week worth of easterlies and showers for New South Wales and some parts of Queensland, but Sydney in particular has got some wet weather on the way. This system's also, this high here, is also likely to weaken that storm there forming in the Coral Sea. It potentially could just reach the category uh, one cyclone status, but it's probably not likely. And if it does, it'll be very short lived. This uh, high pressure system is going to pull it apart. So here we are with the uh, remnants of Cyclone Irene. So it passed over the southern islands of Vanuatu yesterday, Thursday. Now it's fallen apart. This is the water vapour map. You can see all the bright uh, white cloud on this side showing the plume of moisture being brought down, at least in the atmosphere, a lot of cloud. But on the other side of it, the dark, that's the drier southerly being fed into it. So that's a classic reason why that storm is falling apart. It needs moisture to keep on going uh, in the atmosphere. It's got a dry southerly being fed into to one side of it. Now we've got rain here for the next 24 hours, not much for the North Island, the blue at the very bottom of the scale. So that's the risk of a shower. Same story for much of the South Island, but rain uh, down here around Fiordland for the first time in a while, and that will spill over into Southland. Not a huge amount, but five, 10, 15 millimeters for you down here in Southland uh, over the next 24 hours. This is the next five days. The usual rain with La Nina and you know, this time of the year for the north. And then you've got a bit of wet weather also coming down into Western Australia. Over here in the east, you can see what I mean about that rain. Uh, so we've got two types here. We've got the showers coming in off the Tasman with the easterlies, and then you've got the afternoon downpours inland. Sydney's got about 50 millimetres or so, and there might be more than that with those isolated downpours. So let's get into the forecast. Here we are on Saturday. The remnants of Irene pretty much disappeared. So that's it. Gone. Up here in the tropics, coming into New Caledonia, comes the next low pressure system. It's not likely to be a cyclone, but if it is, it'll be a short-lived one for only a day, if that. And then in the New Zealand area here on Saturday, the cooler airflow moving in. So Southland and Otago, some coastal areas there, only into the mid-teens as we go through Saturday, so a little bit cooler for you. Now by Sunday, in comes another cold front. It's pretty weak, it's only gonna de deliver a few showers, a few millimeters here and there, but behind it, the temperature drops, and ahead of it, the temperature's up a little bit. So Sunday morning might be a little bit milder than Saturday was, but then by the end of the day, another cooler change comes back through. Not much going on in the North Island, just the usual uh, afternoon showers. And there's that low pressure system moving into New Caledonia, uh, coincidentally, the northwestern corner of the same area that just got all the heavy rain from Irene as that passed through. So regardless of whether or not that is a storm, it is likely to produce some further rain and wind in that part of the world. And you can also see the easterlies and the showers forming here. So let's take a look at next week. That low around New Caledonia falls apart on Monday. Uh, in New Zealand, we've got a couple of showers, mostly in the east, and the winds are still coming in a little bit from the south while in Australia, that Sydney, New South Wales side on the top end of the high, still getting uh, the easterly winds and the showers. By Tuesday next week, the high moves into New Zealand. The low pressure systems in the north are falling apart because again, this high pressure system, it's the main driving force of our weather as it comes on in. So afternoon downpours, maybe a thunderstorm, a couple of thunderstorms around parts of Australia, hopefully maybe even some sunny spells coming into Sydney for a short time. And by Wednesday, the high is pretty much over New Zealand. So we've got the afternoon sea breezes and lake breezes. 
and that means we get a bit of afternoon convergence. So afternoon downpours and thunderstorms are going to be popping up inland and then they might drift to a coastline. And over in Australia, nor'easters, a bit more of that wet weather brushing Sydney. But up in the tropics, no sign of any storms for now. So maybe uh, this is it with Irene for the rest of January, unless that other one forms up there briefly. And then probably not really seeing anything up there until we get into February. And then that is the peak time for cyclones, February, March, usually when we see uh, the most of those tropical storms, that's when the sea surface temperatures are at their highest up here. Anyway, that is all from me. Just one more reminder, next week, we are back to normal basically next week, it's a full week. Uh, but the weekend after that is Auckland anniversary, a three day weekend. The day after that, the Tuesday, that is February 1st, I'll be back then. And that is when uh, we'll be doing our next Climate Watch update. So I'm back next week, but Climate Watch will be on the 1st of February. We'll be taking a good look at the rainmaking chances across New Zealand as we go into February. And also what is going on with La Nina and is El Nino coming in? We'll be talking about that as well, February 1st. Anyway, that is all from me for today. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.